So, Doc's saying it, the rumors aren't true. I told you, Do it was you pettiness. Believe I believe him. I, I believe it was pettiness in the first place because the way when they came out and said, well, they, he didn't like this because of his son, that is so high school. And when you get paid millions of dollars, that high school thing does not come up. And it wouldn't even come up in a conversation to say, well, the real reason I'm giving out because I don't like the way he's treated. They'd be like, dude, you're making $10 million a year. You're talking about his son? I knew it was pettiness. And two point guards, the fact that Doc is a point guard and everyone loves, well, not everyone except for the writer the other day, loves the way Chris Paul leads, it's the easiest thing to let Chris get out there and let him. Because you can see Chris when he's mad at a certain player, when he's pointing at him, when you give him that, that, that crooked look. Uh, that's why I believe Doc. And he's right. He's 32 years old. He was not going to win a championship, even get close to being in the third round of the Western Conference. So I know going to Houston was going to better, better him or get him closer to the position of being in a championship jersey or, as Coach would say, a participant. I have no doubt that Chris Paul being in Houston gives him a better shot at winning a title than were he in Los Angeles. But to be clear, the debate is, is that the only reason Chris left? That's what Doc told Ryan Russillo yesterday on the Russillo show, that the truth of the matter is this. All the talk, 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 talk you're hearing on the way out the door, it's not why Chris left. Chris left because he wanted to win in Houston. In fact, Doc is denying that that even existed. All the stuff we're hearing existed. And you believe that to be true, yeah. that the reason Chris left and the only reason Chris left is he just saw a better opportunity in Houston? Yeah, and this is the deal. Chris... Believe it or not, being in Los Angeles, the second largest media uh, part of America, it being the place to play, they were still number two. They were still number two behind the Lakers, even though they were winning more games. Being in Houston, they are the big dog. They are the international dog. They are the dog that literally everybody sees in China. They are big time. So I think for him, thinking business-wise, when I was in China, there was five black folks I saw. Michael Jordan, Karee, uh, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Blake Griffin and CP3. That was the Nike store that literally had a line around the corner just to go in. Those are the only guys. They understand business. They understand it's even past just playing the game. I, I, I think that's why he went to Houston. I, I don't, I don't, I can't buy that, John. I want to buy it. Good. I want to buy it. Well, they buying I, it in I, China. I, well, not the jersey, but <laughs> I, I can't buy what Doc's selling. And I want to buy what Doc's selling because in my every exposure, which are not many with Doc Rivers, I have liked him. Mm -hmm. And I have found him to be authentic, but I also know Doc's a coach. Here's what I know about in life. When things fall apart, people give you certain platitudes about why. They don't often give you the truth. Now, when you wave your hand at every report that's coming out, and there are too many for me to ignore about the dysfunction in Los Angeles and the reasons they didn't get along and how that affected Chris Paul, there's just so much. If you want me to ignore all that and buy some other version, buy some other story, then I need more than platitudes and hand-waving. I need more than, oh, come on, that didn't exist. He just saw a better opportunity. I need you to actually address the specific things and so say to me with real details of why that's not true. That's how you would win me over with logic and persuasion, not who I like or who I don't like. If I just went with who I like and who I don't like, I'd go with Doc's story. But I need more. I need real details, reporting, and facts to counter all the other that I'm getting about what's going on in Los Angeles. I think Chris left to go win someplace else, but I think he did because it was so dysfunctional in Los Angeles. It was because he didn't want to be a Clipper. He wanted to be a Laker. The NBA stopped that. They decided, no, you can't be a Laker. No, you can't be with Kobe and with the show. We're going to put you back and put you where we want to put you. This is the first time he had a choice to choose where he wanted to have his life. It's such a big decision. There's no way it's not more complicated than just a championship, whether or not uh, the, the relationship with the two is the reason why.